Lab mostly addresses the advertising market. We do mostly parts for it in commercials. And we almost exclusively use Soft Image as a 3D solution. When XSI came out, that really opened up a whole new world for me. Well, the pace of development has been pretty astonishing. Within a week of work, I can easily convert anybody that knew before a different application onto XSI. There's definitely a very good relationship going between our technical directors and uh, Softimage in developing the kind of tools that we actually need in order to do the projects. On the flip side, sometimes the, we get surprised by Softimage with new functionality, which we very fast put into our spots. In uh, Bombay Sapphire, the hair functionality that was just put into the last day release was used immediately. Uh, we were happy to see it there and we were happy to, to use it as soon as it was available. One of the things that impressed a lot of people on Bombay is that like, you know, we can start with the artwork and generate work that basically matches it, you know, pretty much to the T. The lugs spot, that was the first time that we started using Quaternion Spine. I don't know of any other package that has like a spine like that, genuinely bidirectional. Biped templates are phenomenal. There's some skin sliding things that are really huge time savers. I think the polygon tools in XSI are very logical and easy to use to build almost anything that we need. We kind of went all over the place with Home Depot with XSI, from very geometric patterns on buildings, walls, trees, to human faces. So we pretty much got the whole spectrum. It's no secret we make heavy use of the tune shaders. <laughs> tune shaders are by far probably like the most comprehensive tools I've, I've seen for non-photorealistic rendering around. On VH1, we used NetView and we, there was a library actually set up that had different animations for different movements for certain characters. And you just drag and drop right into the, the character. It made animation much easier. In XSI, I really enjoy the scripting capabilities. First of all, it doesn't give me carpal tunnel syndrome because I, have, I, I don't have to do repetitive tasks by hand. And the fact that I can fix other people's scenes without stopping them from working. With Bachelor, you can watch all your renders. You can tell what machines are rendering which frame. If there's any problems, you can just resubmit the frame from the Bachelor itself and it gives you time estimates, which is very helpful in this environment when you know, things have to be done quickly, you can give an estimate of how long it takes for something to be done. Without that tool, I don't think we could have done a lot of things we've done here. The ability to quickly experiment in XSI and get the kind of results you know, that gets you close to or in the direction, in the right direction, is just quite amazing. That was pretty awesome to see like 10 people in a room working on one shot. We have animators working while you know somebody else is working on the car, while somebody else is twiddling with the camera, while other people are doing texture mapping, and, and it's all feeding into like the same pipeline. You know, and the day hit and render. Softimage has been extremely flexible in helping us grow our business and working with us. So definitely, it's been a great investment for us and a great return on our investment. <laughs>